So we got another, we got another little brief intro. I'm keeping this series going. Um, you gotta excuse me for the low quality. I wanna get these videos out here, so let's get it popping. <clears throat> right now, you see an Eminem. We got Eminem on the. <laughs> it makes me laugh because Eminem. Eminem is in so much controversy right now. Um, first white rapper. Uh, not not the first white rapper. The, the the. Basically, the first white rapper to really get in, do it, and be accepted. He was co-signed by Dr. Dre, of N.W.A. fame. Dr. Dre is the literally like the godfather of the new hip hop. Uh, Eminem was co-signed by Dr. Dre. Dr. Dre decided to start Aftermath after uh, his dealings with Death Row went bad. Uh, Ice Cube tried to warn him. Did listen. He he listened later on. And then Dr. Dre became a household name, and Eminem became his first project. It, this is Dr. Dre's first artist that he ever really signed. signed. Dr. Dre, what is this? Hold on. Do you want to change the color screen to improve the point? Yeah, why not? Ah, come on. We're going to keep this going. Hold on. What happened? <laughs> okay, uh, I guess we go keep that going. One take only. So, this is his first album. I put the release date as 1998. What the fuck is this computer doing? Um, it came, it came out, came out around late 90s. Let's just say that again. This is Devontae Paradise. So this is the track listing, and then the Marshall Mathers LP. Came out in 2000. Man, that album was amazing. I remember being a kid. I was about, I was about 92. I was about eight years old, seven, eight years old, and I used to listen to this shit with mom. And we ain't listen to the clean shit either. So I listen to this shit. I think this is his best album. I think this. Is best album. Um, oh, and then we got the Eminem show. Oh, damn. His first three albums were fucking amazing. Eminem show wasn't that good. There was a lot of songs. There was a few songs that were bad. So, I would say the Marshall Mathers LP is his best work. So, then we got the Eminem show. I love this album, too. Many songs on here. I wish I could play this shit, but I can't. Oh, then we got Encore. <laughs> so we got Encore chilling right now. And he took a five year break. He was gone. There was a lot of changes. He came back for re relapse. Uh, everybody in, in hip hop world knows that this is considered to be his worst album. Every artist has their worst album. Eminem had relapsed. So, with, within those four albums, he was on drugs. I mean, everybody knows this, so. I have recovery in 2011. Um, this is an okay album. That's good. He's recovering. I like this album. None, none of the songs on here completely stop. Every song is listenable. By everyone. Marshall Mathers LP too. This is where people really, really stop. 
fucking with Eminem. I mean urban. I mean as far as urban. I listen to everything, so I don't even give a fuck, but... This is where everybody in the urban community is like, man, I miss the old Eminem. I like this album. It's good. It's a good album. I love songs, too. <laughs> Revival. <laughs> Yo, this album. It's not that bad. I just... I think the problem is... Did this come out in 2017? Yeah, I think it did. I think it did. I think the problem... I think the problem, I think the real problem with Revival, because Revival isn't that bad. Um, Eminem, Eminem didn't know how to market himself in, 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 this, in this new era, because back in the day, back in the day, if, if he released this album um, before 2010, people would have loved it. People would have loved it. <laughs> That's the funny part. If he released this album, I bet you if he released this album before 2010, people would have loved it. But after 2010, he got all these these rappers where it's hip hop. Hip hop tone has changed a lot, and it, it it keeps it makes it harder for me to keep up with it too, because ultimately, um, there's not a lot of layers. People don't put a lot of layers into their shit. It's just one trap song, one trap song, another trap song, another trap song, another trap song, another trap song. Another trap song. Back in the day, it used to be, let me talk about my mama. Uh, at the end, the last song, let me put in a, a song that's inspirational. Okay, so let me talk about depression. Okay, so let me talk about drugs. Let me talk about a gun. But let me talk about it in a smart way. Let me talk about my daughter. Let me talk about my growth. Hip-hop nowadays, nobody's growing. It's just... One trap song, another trap song, another trap song. Hey, make the beat tight. Another trap song, and we're just all turning up all the time. And people don't realize it, man. Um, I don't think this is a bad album. I just think people's ears are different. You know, uh, you know, it, it's just it's harder to listen to this shit because there ain't no trap song. There ain't no drums, there ain't no loud, there ain't no bass, and by 2017, that shit, everybody was listening to trap music, man, I'm surprised T.I. ain't, oh yeah, I know why T.I. ain't more relevant, <laughs> um, I like this album, I don't, I don't see the problem with it, Kamikaze, so now he had to come in with the trap beats, and all this shit, and Dumb his layer down, lyrics down. Oh yeah, and then with with revival, the problem with it is he made this big production, and he he did shit in a way where uh, what an artist was expected to do before 2010. This is how an artist was expected to be before 2010. Layers, different uh, subject matters, not the same beats, not the same tone throughout the whole album. People don't want to hear that shit. But at the same time, he knew he had to dumb it down, but he didn't want to dumb it down too much. And that's the conflict that everybody's having with Revival. I'm pretty sure that's the conflict that everybody's having with it. Then Kamikaze, he was like, all right, so y'all going to say my album suck? All right, I'm going to drop this shit. And everybody liked it. I'm pretty sure Eminem's so mad that he had to do this, this fucking album. Um... Then he started dissing everybody, MGK, MGK back, came back, and then he came back at MGK. Um, now he's on this, this, this road of just dissing a bunch of people. You know. And this is a dope album, too. I think what Eminem needs to do is put a little more bass and drums into his song, and then have more pianos playing, uh, more guitars playing. Put in some rock elements too, um, you know, and you'll he'll be good. And then Eminem is such a good rapper. You put in a trap beat, and then you put in some 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 smooth pianos, um, some 
some smooth uh, some other instrumentals and Eminem rapping to the oh my god yo that that should be tight I think Eminem would be alright you know so but yeah Eminem considered the first white rapper even though he's not technically but he is the only he's a he's we're gonna call him the first white rapper to in mainstream hip hop to maintain himself and get a good cold song so my brief intro to Eminem. Anyway, peace. Oh, it's always. Been